Today we're going to review how to read a measurement on a ruler. Um, so typically rulers have one side that has inches and the other side that has centimeters. So we're going to look at the inches side first. And we clearly know it's inches because it's labeled inches. And we know the one that we have a one by is considered the one inch mark. But there may be some confusion on what do these other hash marks mean. So in this ruler specifically, it's helpful to count how many um, hash marks or dashes there are between the one and the next number. So I'm actually going to start here. So I have one. This would be considered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And to get to the two, this would be eight. So because there are eight little hash marks until I get to the next number, this ruler is counting in eighths. Okay, so now that I count them out, I know that there's eight here and eight here. So what this means is, I'm going to go back here, this little hash mark represents one eighth. So if you had something that was this long, it would be one eighth of an inch long. If you get to the next mark, this would be considered two eighths then you would get to three eighths this would be considered four eighths this is five eighths and so forth six eighths this is seven eighths and even though we've labeled this as one inch i'm going to draw my arrow down now this would be eight eighths eighths so what happens is on a ruler, you have to be fairly good with knowing your fractions. So I know that it was cut up into eighths because there are eight hash marks. And because we are already good with fractions, this is why it became one inch. What is eight over eight? Well, eight over eight is one. So that's how we know that this was the one inch, oops, one inch mark. You've heard of things as being a half an inch. Well, four over eight is the same as one half. If you reduce the fraction 6 over 8, that's the same as 3 fourths. And 2 over the 8 is 1 fourth. So as you work through a ruler, you have to first know how many hash marks are between the, the whole numbers. And that tells you what the ruler it is, is counting by. Not all rulers count by eighths. Some of them will count by sixteenths. Some of them only count by fourths. So you have to know how many sections there are first. So as we move on, if I pick this hash mark right here, I automatically know that if something was this long, that went all the way out to here, straight line, I automatically know that it would be four inches, because I reached the four, but then I would count one, two, three, four, five, and since they're counting by eighths, this would be four and five eighths. If I turn that into an improper fraction, I would be at 37 eighths. And that means if I kept counting from the very beginning, if I counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then I kept going, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. If I kept going, this would get to 37 by the time I got way out here but it's helpful to know them written as fractions. Again, if I had another segment or another line that ended here at this mark, I know that I'm at the whole mark of seven, and then I would count one, two, that's two eighths. But because I can reduce the fraction, that's the same as seven and one fourth. And then, so they would say this is seven and one fourth inches. You may have seen in other classes or just know that sometimes they represent inches as a little symbol that looks kind of like that. Looks like the quotation marks. So that is how you measure using inches. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to erase and then we're going to talk about the centimeter side. Okay, so we've erased, so we're working on erasing all the centimeter or the inches side. Now we're going to work on the centimeter side. Obviously, that's one that has CM for centimeters. And again, the same thing that we did before is count all the little hash marks. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So centimeters are based 
on tens. So if you went out and you said, okay, well, this was 10, 10 tenths gives you one centimeter. So as you draw out a segment, if your segment goes all the way to here, you know that you have a whole number of eight, and then you count one, two, three, four. This would be eight and four tenths. If you want to reduce it, or you should reduce it, this would be eight and two fifths. And this is now centimeters. So very much the same as the intro side, you have to know how many dashes are between the whole numbers. Typically in a centimeter one, it's always going to be dashed by 10, but it doesn't have to be. They may add way more in there, and you have to be, again, you have to count to find out what are they counting by. So that is our brief tutorial on how to use a ruler. You will have a little brief worksheet on how just measuring different segments to different um, length. So if I asked you to measure to the nearest half an inch, you know that you're looking at the inches section and you'd have to start thinking, okay, where's half an inch? Well, if I have sections of eight, one, two, three, four, four is half an eight. One, two, three, four, four is half an eight. So this would be four eighths, but this would be one and four eighths. One, two, three, four eighths, but this would be two and four eighths. And why did I do four? Because again, if I reduce that, that's one half. And then they would have inches. So just a brief review again of how to use or read a ruler.